Hi. In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create a nice quilted leather material in minutes. Let's build this quilted leather together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We are using the pebbled leather material asset from the Adobe Substance 3D Assets website. To get it you need a subscription or points. Search for pebbled leather and download the SPS AR. Open the location where you've saved it. Click the pebbled leather file and drag and drop it into the layer stack for the basic material. I always change the random seed instead of just using the default version. We choose a nice darker color for the base leather. For an older look and more variation we increase the color aging and interstice width. Let's further make the color more interesting by increasing the contrast and decrease the height range. While we're at it we should rename the material and save the project. I recommend doing this from time to time. To bring in a bit more details we add the scratch filter by clicking on the add a layer button, typing in scratch and choosing scratch. We can make use of various scratch types to tweak the surface details. For this example we just add scratches and deactivate micro scratches. Let's adjust the amount, intensity and scale of the scratches. To make them darker we activate base color and choose a darker red. Let's increase the roughness and normal intensity. Finally we activate the height channel and type in a really low value. For the quilted pattern we use the quilt stitch filter. With this filter you can make a lot of different patterns with additional control over stitches, seams, quilt and edge paint. In this case we'll take diamond. Let's deactivate double top stitch for a single stitch row and make some changes for the stitches amount, offset, length and height. We activate quilt and increase the quilt intensity to 1 for a really intense height. With just a few adjustments we achieve a completely different quilt look with a square pattern and another quilt tie. As our final filter we use the smudge stain filter to turn the smooth and new looking leather into a more worn one. The presets give you a good idea of what the filter can do and are nice to use as a starting point. Let's choose fingerprints for this leather material. We first reduce the roughness to make it less rough where the fingerprints are. Let's make it a bit more intense and increase the size to make it work better with the proportions of the leather structure. Finally let's smear it slightly more. To check the result in different lighting conditions we can choose between several different environment lights. Because this is an indoor surface let's choose Atelier. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use Send2 to send it directly to another Substance app. Export it as SBS AR for other 3D apps and engines or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.